What's going guys, Zenus here and today in this video let's do a gameplay first impressions on Game of Thrones Beyond the Wall Early Access Yeah, <laughs> this game is provided to you guys by Behavior Interactive Like what the F? Yeah, Behavior Interactive Okay, so behave, alright? <laughs> Alright, let's get into this, this game right at the bat. Uh, it's gonna be a early access game, not a type of game that uh, will actually provide you all the premium features right at the bat. Uh, so let's see like what this game has uh, really developed so far and we are actually gonna just enjoy that one, okay? So let's see like if it actually kind of like intrigues us uh, into like, you know, playing into this game and maybe even spend in this game, okay? <laughs> oh well, at least it's not next turn. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. So this is uh, how it happens, okay? So uh, this is uh, basically the main battleground. Uh, you, as you can see right over here, uh, it pretty much is like nearly, nearly as same as like Alchemist Code, or let's say the nearly a uh, very new game released like Final Fantasy, Brave XVS, uh, War of the Visions, right? Yeah. Oh my God, my memory. It's so bad. Oh, let's say Langreaser, okay? <laughs> Anyways, let's get, let's start this game right at the bat, okay? So there's gonna be the winning condition. Uh, you can pretty much auto it and double times the speed it. Uh, but the problem is that like, as you can see right over here, the double speed is not really that great in my opinion, okay? So obviously first is gonna be your turn and uh, next uh, it's gonna be the enemy turn. And it seems like as if like I have really got into a very hard type battle mode. Yeah, so right over here guys, if you guys are pretty much uh, familiar with the Langrisher, then yeah, this game will really make a lot of sense to you guys, okay? Obviously there are gonna be like so many other factors in this game. There's gonna be blockades and many strategical, uh, you know, like uh, items in the game that will really either help you or <laughs> may actually put you in some sort of like disadvantageous position. So it's really up to you on how you can actually manipulate this tile strategy based game, okay? So right away guys, you can see that like there are four hero icons right on the bottom part of the screen, right? And they are burning, okay? The icons are pretty much burning. That means they can actually use some main skill, yes. Uh, if you really want to use a main skill, first of all, click them and then like you will go into like this kind of mode. Uh, if you want to uh, hit this one, then you can just move right over here and then use the uh, ultimate skill and then just select who you really want to put it on and wow there we go the main special animation what the shit <laughs> what was that like oh my god that was so sad jesus christ no i mean like it's 2020 for god's sake okay anyways uh let's try to move the next uh, unit right over here that we have uh let's see what we can do right over here and let's try to hurt him let's let's kill this mock shot okay uh, right up there guys <laughs> <laughs> that was it guys like what the hell I mean, like I would really love some sort of like special kind of animation that would have really given this game a really good uh, you know like vision but OMG I mean like I am not really that impressed ladies and gentlemen no <laughs> oh well uh, let's try to kill him if I can with my special move just look at that guys look at that whoa that's uh, you know like uh, it kind of like reminds me of the Siegfried from Siegfried from uh, Saul Calibur <laughs> Oh man, your face. Okay, so what can I do? Okay, so let's try to use this unit and can I actually just go into the side by side to just, uh, you know, like try to get some uh, advantage and right over here guys, you can see that my uh, ultimate skill, if it is an ultimate skill, as you could see, the animation was so superb, uh, right over here, it is actually uh, I'm like it has actually gone into a cooldown for two turns, all right? So oh well, what can we do? Just the normal attack and there we go. Boom. That's how it's done, okay? And well, uh, uh, you can actually pretty much end the turn if you really want to. Obviously, it's a strategy type game, uh, okay? And uh, you can see the danger zone right over here, meaning like this is the place where uh, your opponent can actually move, okay? So you can pretty much predict like where would be your safe zone, uh, where uh, would be the point where your opponent won't be able to hit you or you know, sort of like attack you and stuff like that, alright? Anyways, uh, let's move on to the next unit right over here and let's try to hit him from this side. Right at the back, just like that and boom! There we go, boom! <laughs> okay, uh, oh! My horse, it died, okay? Oh damn, I mean like... Ah, crap, okay, anyways, I got another unit right over here. Okay, let's do a flank attack, okay? Let's flank him! Let's flank him! Oh, hey. <coughs> As you can see, 
uh, the damage was red uh, it nearly felt like as if it was a uh, critical damage and there we go guys yes what's gonna happen is that like if you are gonna face uh, face to face or uh, with an opponent and if they are I'm mean, like if you are within their range of attack they are gonna return the attack okay I mean like it's supposed it, it, it's kind of like as if they are countering so be careful okay uh, that is also like one problem with this strategy game like when it's your turn you are supposed to deal a really good amount of damage right but what would be the uh, point of it when they can pretty much counter okay it's just like you are exchanging the blows like what the f okay anyways there's a very good story I mean like if you have really watched the Game of Thrones then well this would be a refreshment if you have not then well just uh, play it and try to understand the whole complex story right over there uh, let's see about that one okay anyways so they are like chapter 1 and chapter 2 uh, it's really up to you guys on how you want to complete it okay so just do that and obviously when you are going to clean out all the stuff I mean like you know uh, the maps, the campaigns, you are going to be rewarded with the um, rewards uh, like this one and uh, obviously this, got, this is the shard of the unit that we can pretty much summon uh, later on, okay? So there we go, that's that's how it is. Uh, Weirwood uh, 4A, well, we can actually enter it, but the problem is that like it's really hard for me right now to actually complete it. But anyways, it's a, a next type of like campaign if you really want to do it, okay? You can actually do it. There are various sort of like ways or let's say that you can actually take right up here in order to gain sort of like other weapons but anyway it's a little bit like weird for me right now <laughs> anyway it's really up to you okay uh, it's like a campaign map uh just do that and let's move on to the summon section okay let's see if we can actually summon up oh, by the way uh, as the pre-registration gift this game has not really provided very amazing stuff okay only like 10 shards of like Jon Snow 10 shards of like Daenerys, yes, you are actually gonna require about to about like 100 shards to actually summon a unit and they are not actually gonna give you a uh, 100 summon shard right at the bat for a 1.5 million pre-registration like what the hell I mean like you know I can smell you know I can smell the pay to win feature right at the bat like what yeah <laughs> Jesus Christ, no, I'm like, I'm starting to really hate this game right off the bat, I'm like, nah. so I'm like, it's really up to you, like, what do you, what do you guys actually think about this game, please let me know in the comment section below, anyways, let's get into the night's watch out oath, and this is the place where we are going to do some summons, and let's see what we can do right over here, so I have actually managed to collect, like, some of the shields, okay, so, whatever that is, what do you call it, what do you call it, oh, carved glyph, like, mmm, wow, okay, uh, can we actually see some, like, rates, is there, is there, is there, is there some rates, okay, oh, come on, okay, so, uh, rewards drop rate, heroes, okay, if you, uh, want to get heroes, it's gonna be, like, 1.7%, and, oh, instead of, like, SSR, SR, or ultra rare units, it's gonna be, like, heroes, that's gonna be your pinnacle point of, like, you know, uh, units that you would really want to get okay the best units that uh, is available in the game and the next one is gonna be the units okay and these are the units that you can pretty much get in the game right now and seems like we cannot really summon the Daenerys Targaryen like Jesus Christ like what Jon Snow is here but where is the Daenerys holy mother okay <laughs> it's so sad where is Stark family other Stark family okay None guys, none. So yeah, that's how it is. Okay, anyways, let's try to do the 10 draws and let's see what we have got so far. Okay, I have got a flea bottom cutthroat. Okay, uh, what is it? Is, is he a unit or is he a hero? I, do, I really don't know about that one. Horn Hill Huntsman. Okay, new. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's a new unit. And who is she? <gasps> Myla. Is she a... Uh, I think she is a hero unit, guys. Myla. But what? What? Oh yeah, she's the one who actually guided the... Uh, I forgot the name! Jesus Christ, no! Winterfell Rider, I think he's a hero. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Okay, anyways, new. Oh, well. Myla, okay. Okay, guys, there we go. That's how it's done, okay? Rewards info. Yes, at least I have a hero unit. That's gonna be like 1.7%. So I think I can consider myself lucky, guys. And I really don't seem to have any other hero right over there. Other, other. 
uh, units that I got were just units, okay? So, well, that's that, guys. That's that. Uh, well, there's nothing actually much to do in this game <laughs> right over here. Just check out the achievements. Try to claim all the rewards possible, okay? You can do the daily quest. There we go. Try to enjoy the game. And, well, that's all, guys, for right now. <laughs> Progress objectives, like what the hell? I mean, like you know, it's the same old, uh, you know, like other MMORPG or RPG type of game where you are just gonna, you know, like play with the uh, lobby features and items in order to, like, you know, just uh, improve its stuff. But anyways, I, I think we can actually go into like other places, right over here, like barracks. Okay, we can go right over here, right? <laughs> and in the barrack, what we can do is we can actually upgrade the, po you know, like our units. Okay, like let's do like this, like promote. Can we do it? Yes, there we go. That's how you are going to promote, okay? So it's gonna require you some items like this one, uh, which is called the Unit A XP Town, that you will be getting by, you know, completing the story mode and every other things, and then you will be getting a ton of that one, and you can use it in order to, you know, like claim this kind of items, okay? And then you can just level up your units. That's it, guys. That's it. Okay, and there's actually gonna be the grade ranking right over there And the next thing is that like guys in this game you really don't require Actually to uh, you know like give them a certain type of equipment. They already do have equipment All you need to do is upgrade. Yes. Uh, well, that's very plain and simple, right? <laughs> yeah That's how it is and if you really want to keep on like, you know uh, um, stop clicking over and over again. Just click and hold, okay? This will really allow your hero to keep on upgrading right at the bat, just like that. So easy, right? But where is my Myla? <laughs> I cannot see my Myla right over here. Oh my god, I thought I got her, right? Jesus, like, where is she? Oh, man. Okay, where is she? Oh, well, she was supposed to be in the barracks. Mwah. That dirty girl. Where is she? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I thought I got a hero unit, right? Hearth, uh, what is this? Hearth. Okay, so there we go, guys. Myla is right over here, guys. Okay, so can I actually uh, upgrade her? Yes, there we go. Let's upgrade her. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, like, I mean, like, I can give her everything, right? I can give her everything, guys. So there we go. She's at level 15 right off the bat. No problem at all. If you really want to do some promotion, it's going to be a transcend stuff. Yes, you are supposed to collect her shards, or let's say an exact copy of hers. In order to transcend her, or let's say promote her, okay? So that's uh, another way to say transcend, you know, like to promote, okay? There we go. And hero abilities, you can actually upgrade them uh, if you have like this kind of scripts and material, okay? And you can obtain them from the honor shop. And honor shop, I think it's uh, relates to the PvP battles, all right? So there we go. That's how it is, okay? And well, can we actually go into the uh, well? Where can we go? Hero Arena. Can I do that? Oh no, Rich Lord Commander, level 20 to unlock the Hero Arena. Jesus. Okay. Uh, well, Codex is Codex, guys. This is the place where you will be seeing a lot of like, you know, like in game features. If you have really like sort of like uh, missed out any content, or uh, I think even the biography. Yes. Uh, well, what is Myla? Who is Myla? Yes, you can see right over here. Okay. And what can she do? I think you can also see right over here. Okay. Uh, that's all there is to it guys, uh, nothing much more special right over here. Beyond the wall is the place where you will be playing all your campaigns, story modes and everything. Uh, next one is gonna be the challenges, newcomer training. Obviously this is gonna be the place where you will be learning a lot of stuff and also be claiming a lot of reward as well. So there we go, that's how it's done, okay? And uh, well, what is this? Yeah, legendary events guys, this is the place where you will be uh, kind of like taking part in a lot of events at our Daenerys is looking very pretty right over there But oh my god, I think she really needs a lot more shader. Okay. I mean like <laughs> She doesn't really look too good anyways, uh, this is not for beginners But when you actually get strong, this is like a main milestone point uh, in the actual game of throne point uh, where you will be actually uh, you know, like taking part with your dragon and try to, you know, like accomplish your story. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's that's how it is. Okay. Let's try to see a glimpse of the dragon in the Game of Thrones and we can pretty much finish this story, right? Oh, 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 hey, hey. Oh, I thought there was a there was a story scene. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, let's retreat. <laughs> let's retreat, guys. Let's retreat. Uh, there's no point for it one. I mean, like this one. I mean, like, uh, I think we can actually see that in the codex. Uh, I will have to go back into the codex, guys. Codex, 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 codex. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
So there we go, guys. Uh, well, where is the codex? Yes, he is right over here. This old guy he is actually, you know, like sort of like uh, taking that thing. And chapter one prologue, the trailer blood, chaos beyond the wall, legendary events. Yes, there we go. That's how it is. Uh, the Lady of the Dragonstone. And can we? Uh, can I actually play this one? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? I just wanted to show you guys, you know, the dragon of this game. Okay, <laughs> the dragon. Oh well. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's how the dragon really looks like. I mean, like, it's kind of near. It looks good. I mean, like, the animation. Oh, my God. It's so... I mean, like, see, it's so... See, uh, oh, well. I mean, like, uh, oh, man. I mean, like, the graphic. I don't know why. Like, you know, it doesn't just give me a really good feeling about the graphics, okay? It's just like, okay, like, uh... <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys think about this game? Please let me know in the comment section below. Like, is it really worth playing this playing this game? I mean, like, I really don't think so. I mean, like, there are so many things that it's not actually, like, tempting me to play this game. Uh, if you guys are having, like, different opinions, then please do let me know, okay? And just keep on claiming all the rewards that you can and try to get all those rewards and, you know, uh, just keep on improving it, okay? Well... After the game is released, I will obviously come with the global launch. And till then, thank you for watching my videos. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel. And see you guys in the next video.